Hey guys, it's Steve. So welcome back to another weekly Grill Dome video. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make some quick and easy grilled lamb chops with a homemade shallot butter. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I have some nice lamb loin chops here in front of me. I picked up these three from Publix and the ones they had in the case were just about an inch thick so I had them cut me these three in an inch and a half thick. And uh, these are also commonly referred to as a lamb T-bone. Basically over here on this side you have the tenderloin and this is just kind of the regular loin or sirloin over here on this side. So these are super, super tender cut of meat and uh, tastes really good. So we're gonna go ahead and get our seasoning blend mixed up. So this is a real simple seasoning blend that's gonna go really well with this lamb. I'll have the ingredients up on the screen. So we've got some olive oil, some freshly grated garlic, some fresh chopped rosemary, and some dried mint leaves. And then that we're going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of crushed black pepper. And we're just going to stir this up. Alright, and that's all you're looking for right there. So now all we're going to do is just take some of our seasoning blend and we're going to rub this all over both sides. Okay, we've got both sides nice and covered. We're gonna cover this with some saran wrap. And let All right, so I let these lamb chops sit in the fridge for six hours, so you see this nice color with the seasoning blend we used. I've got the grill dome fired up and getting up to temp, so we'll pick back up outside. Okay guys, we've got the grill dome stabilized out at 500 degrees uh, over direct heat. So we're gonna put our lamb chops right in the middle here. We're shooting for an internal temp of 140. So we're probably going to cook these about three minutes per side. You definitely want to have a high accuracy, fast read thermometer so you can keep a close eye on these. How gorgeous those look. Let's set those down right there. And go ahead and get the lid shut and we'll uh, check them in about three minutes. Alright, it's been three minutes. Go ahead and check these, give them a flip. Things are looking gorgeous. All right, another three minutes. All right, guys, at the six minute mark, our lamb chops were at 100 degrees on the internal temp. So I ended up cooking them two minutes more per side. And I just checked them uh, with my thermopin and they just hit 140. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these off. And we're going to let them rest for about five minutes or so and we'll pick back up in the kitchen. All right, while our lamb chops are resting, we're going to whip up a quick shallot butter sauce. So we're just going to toss some butter into a hot pan here. All right, now I'm going to add two shallots that I've chopped up. And then just a little bit of white wine vinegar. And we're going to stir this up. We're just going to cook these just for a couple minutes until these shallots get nice and brown. Okay, so just four minutes later and our shallot butter is done. So we're going to go ahead and pull this. Alright guys, so our lamb chops have rested. We've got our shallot butter here. You can see how gorgeous these came out. And I'm just going to put a little bit of these shallots right on top, just like this. And let's go ahead and dig into this. Oh my gosh, perfect medium. Go ahead and show you that right there. Man, let me go ahead and try this out. Mm. Wow, that is so good. If you've never had lamb before, it is absolutely bursting with flavor. There's nothing gamey about it at all in case you're thinking, thinking that a lot of people think it's going to be gamey. There's nothing gamey about this at all. Try this recipe out. Let me know what you think. You can top this with different sauces or whatever, but try this shallot butter out. And uh, 
Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, keep in mind we have weekly videos every Friday. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon.